The life of Judas Iscariot is sometimes perplexing. Judas was one of the 12 apostles, one of the 12 people who probably spent the most time with Jesus face to face. He experienced firsthand the many miracles that Jesus had performed. He met the people that Jesus healed. He was probably in the front row while Jesus taught about the kingdom of God. Yet Judas was the one who betrayed Jesus to the authorities leading to his death. Apart from that, very little is said about Judas Iscariot. We, we know that at one point, Judas was the keeper of the money of the disciples. John 12 also says that Judas would steal from that money. We also know that he betrayed Jesus for about 30 pieces of silver. Now that's some money, but not a great fortune by any means. So what were G Judas's motives? Was he rotten through and through? Was he completely money hungry? Or perhaps was he trying to manipulate circumstances to accomplish his own agenda? For what I've seen throughout the biblical passages that mention Judas, he often uses those gifts to manipulate or control. We don't know what he did with the money that he stole from the disciples. Perhaps it was he didn't just like how they were spending the money. And so he decided to take it into his own hands. When Judas betrayed Jesus, perhaps he was trying to establish that kingdom that Jesus had preached about, but he just didn't think Jesus was moving quickly enough. Even after Judas betrayed Jesus and found out that Jesus was to be crucified, he took matters into his own hands and ended his own life by suicide. One could say Judas tried to do life his way instead of God's way, choosing a life of control and manipulation instead of surrender. I sure am guilty of the same temptation. I tend to be a controller. I think I may be doing the right thing, but whenever I try to manipulate life circumstances, be it people or something else, I end up causing more damage than harm. However pure my motivations may be, how I do things is just as important as why I do them. Isaiah 55, nine says, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. How often do we need to choose not to tr trust ourselves, but try to trust God? One can compare Judas's actions with that of Peter, who publicly denied Jesus that very night that he was betrayed. Peter, like Judas, was, was ashamed and remorseful of his actions. But after the resurrection, Jesus, Jesus found Peter and forgave him. Perhaps Jesus would have done the same with Judas if, if he would have been alive and simply trusted in God's plan instead of his own. Where in your life are you trusting your own ways instead of God's? Chances are things are not going well in that area. Maybe it's time to surrender and let go. Put aside the desire to control or manipulate and place your trust fully in Jesus. He won't let you down.